Hey, Charles, this is when we get to talk about reinforcement learning. Hi, Michael. This is when I get to hear about reinforcement learning. I think I'm going to have you be the agent. Okay. And we'll just imagine some kind of, I don't know, like a video game environment. By the way, have you noticed I've lost weight? <laughs> oh, good job. How, how did you do that? Well, I got drawn as a stick figure. <laughs> the environment is going to reveal itself to you, to the agent, in the form of states, S. You then get to have some influence on the environment by taking actions, A. And then you also receive back, before the next state, some kind of reward for the most recent state action combination. Now, remember I said the MDP or the environment has states and actions. The states in this case are going to be visualized to you in terms of this sort of Mondrian looking picture in the middle of the screen. And uh, the actions are the numbers one through six. And you don't know the rules. You don't really know how things work. You don't even know what it is you're trying to do. But what you can do is start playing and use that experience to start figuring out how things work. Okay, so it's just like grad school. <laughs> you have to now choose actions, and I'll enter them into the MDP, and we'll see what happens, and then you can see if you can win or not. Three. Hmm. Uh, five. I did it. Nothing changed. Six? Huh. I'm back where I was. I guess I could try that. Two. Yes. Now I need to figure out how to go back up again. Six. Five. Oh. Oh. Three. Oh, that's interesting. Two. <laughs> Two. Three. Four, four, I should do something now. Uh, one. Success! So our goal is gonna to be to try to create learning algorithms that are not quite as smart as you were in that example, but you know, trying to approximate that, getting, getting as far along the uh, you know, rock to Charles continuum as we possibly can. <laughs> okay, we want and algorithms that are Charles complete. 